Further on from Paul's video on his uh, Android head unit, I had one as well, I've just been waiting to fit it to now actually, video fitting it. I was just running it on the bench power supply just to actually make sure it turned on. I know it's from China, you know, you're never going to know. So, lots of wires, lots of connections, Wi-Fi, GPS, USB and all that stuff. Double den head unit, go in the Subaru. Let's go and fit it. Okay, I've already got a double den Android head unit in, but it's a bit old and starting to get a bit slow. Oh, dash cam's turned off. So, what you want to do is unplug in from your cigarette lighter, that might be there. Put your gear stick into fourth or something so it's backwards. This bit, the surround just lifts off and pulls back out of the way and that gets you into two screws there and there and then all this comes off and once it's got a clip up there and a clip up there and they're sometimes really tight and try not to snap them you'll just have to kind of fish your hands in behind and try and pull them out a bit and then all that comes off and I'll show you that in a moment. Right, once you've got this faceplate off, you're going to want to reach down in there and undo those two connectors. And you might as well undo that pipe. Sometimes you can just fold the whole thing out of the way, but it's easier if you just undo them and then you can take the whole thing off and out of the way. Two plugs are undone. I left my hose attached. You can just tuck the thing down the side out of the way there. You, the st stock head unit and any other head units are held in with three screws on each side. This is actually a separate bracket, but I'll show you that once you take it off, because you need to take it off your original stereo, or whatever stereo, or whatever abomination has been put in here, because you need these brackets to fit your new one. Do not judge those wires. Those, don't look at that. No, no, no. Shh. Subarus use a proprietary plug connection. This is what is in there. That's the main plug in the car that would be connected to the standard head unit. You will require to buy an adapter wire which turns it from Subaru plug into your standard uh, ISO heads so you can plug your new head unit in. Oh god. Okay, here's the new head unit with these side plates. You'll notice they're marked right hand. And surprisingly enough, the other one says left hand. Left hand. You also notice there are several mounting hole options. There are also several mounting hole options on the side of your head unit. You'll have to put it in its hole and see how far back or forwards it is in the dashboard, you know, related to your surrounding yours, because mine's got buttons and a twiddly knob. Yours might be flat like the other one, and it can sit behind the surround. It doesn't matter. You'd have to cut anything. And this one, I'm going to have to move it inwards and outwards to see where it sits. And then trim this around with the Dremel to get it to fit. All right, let's get fitting. Right, it is now trial fitted and it fits in the hole and your abomination of wires may or may not look like mine, but that's because the previous owner had like six amps and God knows what else, but that's another story for another time. So with the front plate roughly in place, it is too big. And it, well, sorry, the head unit's too big. So I'll need to get the Dremel out and start Dremel down the sides and then bring it back in and do it a couple of times to get the fit properly. Let's do it! Right, here is the fascia, which we will now Dremel and get rid of all the excess bits and hope that it fits. You should tidy up your workspace before Dremeling because it makes a... Ah, there's a the screws I'm looking for. Don't need them now anyway. Right. What I do need is a Dremel. Nah, Paul's oh, just a microphone for it. That's supposed to be somewhere as well. Dremel, Dremel, Dremel. One Dremel and instruction manual. Read that later. Uh, what I have here is an empty box. Where's the Dremel? Ah, let's do it.
Oh my god. Everything is now covered in EBS plastic, including me. And the camera. And this. Oh, I'm going to have to get that out of your line. Anyway. Uh, right, we'll switch back to the sanding head for hopefully what will be the last bit of polish on it. Just a nice. Tidy it up, make it look fairly square. Right, let's give this a blow off with the airline and see how it looks. He said, looking for an airline. Your airline. Sorry if I'm jiggling everything. Okay. Let us give that a try. Well, after much, much dremeling, it's in. Let's push and see if it works now. Hey, Mickey's. Here they are. Hopefully we've got all the wires in our place. Da, 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 da. Oh, I love those gauges. I know there's no oil pressure. That's because the engine's not on. Oh wait, I turned it off. Duh. Well. Enon or EO. Eonon. It's Chinese, whatever it is. Very Chinese. But it works. It might even start up soon. There we go. All the Android in the world. Ta da! The. Radio? Then you can give to the world Ta -da. unconditionally and feel this wonderful feeling. That's, that's of, of enough of that. Every day of my Stop. Stop being radio. Uh, GPS, do you work? Need to sign in, that's alright. But yeah. Another success. I highly recommend an Android double-den unit for your Subaru. Bye, guys.